Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Another one of the most popular players in EAFC24 is getting an SBC soon, and guess what? It's another Player of the Month SBC. We're going to break that down today, and also look for the upgrades that have already begun. The FC Pro Lab cards like Malin, Cold Omani, and others have already got upgraded. Will we see other upgrades today with the Thunderstruck cards? We're hoping for that, but it's not guaranteed, and... We have news about a new promo and some crazy leaks that we're going to look at with a pinch of salt today. But we're going to take a look at some pretty big leaks for what is to maybe come this Friday. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content, which isn't going to take long because it was a pretty quiet day. I guess you could say as expected. We had the Cuti Romero SBC Red card Romero, as people are saying, the price is good. That's the best thing about this SBC. 70,000 coins, but the pace, the card stats, especially the pace, right, are just not good enough. And the fact that Tottenham lost their first game as a part of the set of four that work for upgrades is not boding well for this card either since he's already behind. So you think maybe one inform upgrades possible here with the form of Tottenham, my club right now, it's sad to say, but you, you thought before this would have been an insane upgrading card. But the way that it looks right now, this just looks like a card that I will be doing for emotional reasons and other Spurs fans will probably do for that as well. It's just not big enough of a boost. I hope or I wish that EA would have given this card a bigger boost knowing the state of the club right now and where they're at already with one game played and a loss. So that was kind of a disappointing SBC yesterday in terms of a card that a lot of people could potentially be excited in. But other than that, we had UEFA marquee matchups, which is always a W for some tradable packs. Check your club for Napoli players because they were inflated right away when this SPC dropped because a lot of people love the chance at tradable packs to pack something good, especially with everything that is out right now. But other than that, guys, it was a very quiet content day. Like, that was it. Now, they did drop some stuff in the store, which we'll talk about in a second. And also, they upgraded some cards. We've got upgrades for the FC Pro Live cards, which is very nice to know. Now, we kind of have what we think is like a schedule down, right? We've talked about it. The next couple of Mondays, these different groups of pro players with their pro cards attached are going to be playing in these games. And it looks like it was right a couple hours after content yesterday on Tuesday. That's when the upgrades went live. That is hype because it's literally one day after those games are being played, less than 24 hours when those games finish. That's when we saw the cards get upgraded. So one of the things they did for Malin was they gave him, as my game crashes, we're going to have to take a look at this on Footbin. They gave him a new, of course, he got the plus two upgrade. That's the biggest thing we can talk about with this is that they're not time gating these upgrades, guys. That is massive, right? So we thought maybe they would only give Malin a plus one. They gave him the plus two. They gave him the alternate position and the play style. The new play style was whipped pass, and they gave him left wing. I was hoping they would give him a shooting play style, like finesse shot or something, but they did not do that. Now, some of the other cards that they upgraded, of course, Colo Mani got a simple plus one overall on his card and has made his price go up because these are still live cards, right? If you think about it, Colo Mani has a lot more hype still to upgrade for the next time that the group plays his pro player could, again, attain that play style and the position, and then also another inform upgrade if he gets up to 10 points in the group standing. So there's still a lot of potential for a card like this Kolomani. You can see yesterday he was low before this upgrade happened and then shot up in price based off of rarity, and people wanted to go try his card out. Same thing with Mane. Mane got a pretty sizable upgrade. He didn't get a double upgrade, but he got a plus one overall. And of course, he did get a new position and a finesse shot playstyle, which is actually probably one of the best playstyles they could have given this Mane card. He went from 500,000 coins. He is now 565. He went to 600k right when the upgrade was put out. And then, of course, if you did the SBC for Renan Lodi, this is one of the other very largely upgraded cards. He got a plus two. He got the right back position. I don't know what playstyle they added to his card, but really really good looking card play can play on the right and the left with a sizable stat upgrade there it's just nice to know especially as we have more of these games upcoming next week as we think about maybe this weekend looking at investing in some of these fc pro lab cards again depending on how their prices move and everything like that it's nice to know that the upgrades came in quick and that the upgrades were not time gated right 60k now almost for this caramel card one of the most popular cards that people are looking to invest in for this team two or the the group b i guess it's not team two group b of the pro players that are going to be playing 
in this uh, upcoming week next Monday. So watch out for that because that is that is nice and that is good to see. Now, like we mentioned, will there be upgrades today? We mentioned it. It's not confirmed anywhere. This is just a hunch. I'm hoping that they upgrade the Thunderstruck cards today, guys. I hope that they do this because, again, in previous years, the promos that have been similar to this, they've upgraded the cards on Wednesdays. It's not a guarantee. It is just a hope. But my fingers are crossed for a lot of the cards like Jolinton. We take a look at cards like Bernardo Silva, who is actually down a little bit. We talk about yesterday's content, too. They We mentioned it. They did drop lightning rounds in the store, and that did hurt some of these prices a little bit. Gabriel Jesus, Lukaku, uh, Katoto, Diani. A lot of the women's cards are hyped and rising right now and in being invested in because they can actually get their upgrades faster because EA changed how those cards are getting their upgrades. If you take a look at the cards themselves, they're going to be able to get their second upgrade, which actually combines the second and third upgrades together. They can get them at the same time. All they have to do is win two games. Now, for a lot of them, their second game is like the second week of December, like December 10th, I think, is when the women's PSG team plays again for the potential upgrade. So it's a bit of a hold, but a lot of people are investing in Katoto because if they win that second game, she's going to go from a 90 to a 92 rated card and probably be the cheapest 92 rated on the market while being cracked and uh, pretty usable in, this, in the same time. This is one of the most used cards in the promo team, by the way. Katoto at 70k with the PSG French Striker links. There's always hype for a French Striker, and her card is very, very popular right now in this game. So, with that being said, that was kind of yesterday in a nutshell. Let's look ahead to today with the biggest leak that we have right now, and it is this. It is Antoine Griezmann has won La Liga Player of the Month for the month of November, the SBC should come soon. Now, the question mark around soon is what I really want to break down today. But let's look at the SBC first. This is huge. Think about it. The top three most attackers in the game this year, the most OP attackers, I should say, Hyunmin Son, Mohamed Salah, and Antoine Griezmann. Why? That finesse plus playstyle is so good, and you can actually score a goal other than a cutback from the byline, right? And across the goal. You can score something outside of the box or even inside of the box from a decent angle with this playstyle plus. He's probably going to have playstyle plus finesse shot on his player of the month because, again, what they normally do with the player of the month, we saw it with Jude Bellingham, we saw it with Mohamed Salah, is they just take the player's normal play styles and playstyle plus and carry that forward to the new card. Now, the question is, number one, how much is this going to cost? Because, guys, it's going to be a 90-rated Griezmann. It's kind of different than some of the other player of the months that we've had so far. This Griezmann should be the highest rated card that is in the game for him. Because the inform is 89 rated, he should go plus one above that to a 90 rated card. And that's why everybody is assuming 90 here. I think that's a very good thing to assume. I think it's accurate. I think that is what's going to happen. Now, that also brings in the question of price because his inform is 89 rated and 240k. Dropped a little bit yesterday, of course. After the leak of this SBC coming, people sell on their Griezmanns because they know a new one is coming and they'll want to do the SBC. But his other card, the Trailblazers, which has a different Trivella playstyle plus, is 500,000 coins. I am hoping that since this is kind of a performance-based upgrade, it's similar to the Inform with the boost, I'm hoping that EA look at the Inform and say, okay, we're going to upgrade off the Inform and maybe price this Griezmann SBC at like... 500k. I hope it's 500k, guys, but I could also see it being like six or 700k because EA know it's Griezmann, it's a French card, and it's going to have the Finesse Plus. And this card, they could say, oh, if this card's 500k, then we can make the SBC 90 rated and make it six or 700k, right? I could see them doing that, but I hope that they don't because this SBC is going to be one that a lot of people will say, I'm glad that I didn't do Mbappe because I could do this and maybe Dog Leash. For cheaper. Now, as somebody who's doing Mbappe, I don't have any regrets, but this is going to be a great card for a lower budget. If you've been looking for something to craft, maybe you saved up fodder um, and you're maybe you're, you're just waiting for something to craft. Nothing has seemed fit for you in the recent days. Maybe none of these SBCs have spoken to you. This is one that's going to be very usable, very meta, and a card that, especially as a 90 rated, as long as it's a decent price, is going to be able to be used on this game for a long time. Now you're like, Nate, should we invest in this? We've been talking about fodder a decent amount recently. Do we need to invest with this SBC? To that, I would say no. I think I would wait because also we don't know when this SBC is coming. That's the most confusing part about this is the Jude Bellingham SBC 
is expiring, I think on like, uh, it's, it's either Friday or it's on Sunday. He's only got a couple of days left. But the problem is that EA, four days left, right? I think he is expiring on Sunday. The problem is, is that when EA tweeted out on Monday, their content post tweet for like what SBCs were upcoming for the week, they did not post La Liga player of the month on that tweet. Remember, we saw the Mbappe player of the month was tweeted out. Salah, we knew that a Prem player of the month was coming, but they didn't put the La Liga POTM card design on that tweet that they put out. But also at the same time, it would make a lot of sense for Griezmann to drop this Friday because La Liga player of the month have been dropping on Friday a couple hours ahead of content. So it's really an up in the air decision. Could it actually be dropping Friday? I think it could be. Could it also be next week because EA did not tweet about it in their initial tweet? It also could be then as well. I, either way, it's not going to be a crazy, super crazy expensive SBC. Like between 500 and 750K, it is a decent amount, but it's craftable. You'll be able to get it done. If you need to go and buy anything, I would imagine that it's probably going to be... I mean, how much was the Jude SBC? I don't think Jude's SBC was more than like 500K, right? Okay, it actually is. 633,000 coins for Jude. And the way they priced out that SBC is with 88 rated squad. The La Liga squad here, I'm guessing, is an 87. So it's actually going to be pretty comparable to like the Jude player of the month, potentially in terms of price. So maybe kind of plan it out that way. If you need to buy a little bit of fodder, maybe stock up on some of the higher rated. It's obviously easier to get lower rated through crafting, depending on how fast you want to get an SBC like Griezmann done. So that's my thoughts on the Griezmann SBC. Guys, I guess I don't really have a guess. Is it Friday? Is it going to be next week? Friday seems the most logical play. I just, I'm really thrown off by the fact that EA didn't put it on their tweet this week of like what content was upcoming so that's a big SBC though it deserves a lot of hype because that's a card that you could use in your team for a long time and it's a lot cheaper than other SBCs like Mbappe now let's talk about that market stuff and everything that's going on a little bit more we've mentioned the lightning rounds twice we looked at fodder let's take a little bit more of a deep dive into the market because yesterday we were surprised they're not here anymore but EA dropped lightning rounds on a Tuesday I mean it's Black Friday week so you know with all these other packs in the store, with all the players in packs, we're not surprised, to be honest. But it actually did impact the market a little bit. There was actually another opportunity yesterday to maybe get involved on some of the Thunderstruck cards that kind of kept rising up in price. Like, Bernardo Silva was one of them. Bernardo Silva was rising all the way up to 80k right before content. They dropped the lightning rounds. He went down to 74,000 coins. He's kind of starting to rise back up right now. Other cards that went down yesterday, Katoto was like 72. She's 69,000 coins. It kind of kept prices in check is what it's done too on some of these cards that we were expecting to rise. Like Emre Chan, still 70K. Gabriel Jesus, still under 170. Quadrado, still 120. Jolinton, still 35,000 coins. So it did kind of pull some of those prices back a little bit and bring in a little bit of supply on the Thunderstruck cards. And it also did impact a little bit of the fodder. I mean, you got 83s that are down at about 1.4, but 82s are still 1,000 coins. It's weird, right? 83s are down because they were 1.8K before the content drop yesterday. They were all up here at 1.9, and now those are down a little bit, but 82s still maintain pretty high prices. I have to wonder if the fact that the 83s dropped off yesterday has to do with the 85 double, the 85 plus player pick, and the 84 double all expiring now we don't have any other sbcs i believe that are expiring today that, those sbcs expiring were just kind of like a one-off thing but what we do have today is an sbc refreshing the icon pack is going to be refreshing today and it could be repeatable three times once again like i didn't do this the first time around but it is coming back today you could do it three times i know a lot of people did and if this does come back today what are you going to watch out for you're going to want to watch your 85s 86s 87s and 88s could bring a little bit more demand to this especially because this time if people want to do it again there's less packs in the store ea could run lightning rounds today actually i'm expecting them to that happens on wednesdays more often than you would think they drop promo packs on wednesdays but with this sbc refreshing it would be a perfect opportunity for them to do that and also a perfect opportunity for some of that higher rated fodder to pick up just a little bit more not crazy but pick up just a little bit more in price so maybe watch out for some lazy sales today on 85s all the way to 88s. And also watch out for Inform, specifically on the top tier. Um, these were their lowest on Sunday night, Monday morning, earlier this week. But I'll take a look at like Anthony Robinson, who is one of the cheapest 86 rated Informs right now in this game. I believe all Informs are right around 37k or 35k at least for the lower rated ones. 
No, they're actually even going up even further. There's still 37,000 coins apiece for all informs. Keep an eye on some of those 86, 87 rated informs specifically because that squad does require a team of the week in the 86 rated squad. There will be people doing that icon SPC today and that could make some prices go up. Could also create some prices dropping on the market if people need to sell cards to go and buy that fodder today. But honestly, today I'm, I'm not expecting that crazy of a market day in general. I do expect there to be a lightning round or two and a little bit of supply, but nothing super crazy. Just maybe some fluctuations here or there that could be good to trade in. But again, we do have rivals rewards tomorrow and with so much gameplay demand right now, and so much demand for packs. I would not be surprised if we do have a little bit of a rise in the market. We'll talk about that tomorrow, of course, after everything shakes out uh, before Rivals Rewards happens tomorrow on Thursday. So let's talk a little bit about what else is happening today on Thursday we, or on Wednesday. We do have a Team of the Week leak, guys. And this is actually pretty interesting because uh, there is Caroline Graham Hansen featured in this Team of the Week. They've shown her as a 92. She's probably not going to be 92, but... She's probably going to be 91 rated, but she has a card that is in packs right now. The Trailblazers Hanson is in packs at the moment. This team of the week probably won't be in packs until Friday, guys. The way this has happened before is that the promo card that is already in packs will stay in packs. And then the new one, like a team of the week, will replace it when the other one goes out. So Friday at the content drop... Trailblazers Hanson will go away. This 91 rated probably Hanson will come into packs. So that's something to watch out for there. But her gold card will be out of packs for an even longer time, which has some people wanting to go invest in it. And the gold card is rising, but it could go further up. That's a very meta card. Bar Salings. Actually, I think if you want to pick up a Graham Hanson for your team for the next week or two, probably the next week, I think that 480K is about as good as you're going to get. Because yesterday after this leak came out, she went from like 470, 480 all the way to 513. She's probably going to rise back up a little bit during this next week, depending on what the promo looks like. So watch out for that. Also, Garnacho is going to be higher than 80 rated if he's actually in Team of the Week. All the Team of the Week so far have been 83 rated or above. So definitely keep an eye on that. Teo Hernandez is going to be kind of crazy. French left back, first special card for him this year. That'll be a very in-demand inform as well. And then other content to watch today, we've mentioned it, but we haven't seen it yet. Probably the last Thunderstruck player in an SBC format, Lee Kang In from PSG is expected to get a card. He's already had an inform. It's a decent card. It's PSG links. Also can provide some links to like Hyunmin Sun or maybe Park Ji Sung if you did the hero or the hero evolution. Some interesting links there. Maybe even Huan Hee Chan with the Korea links there. So watch out for that SBC. That would be a Thunderstruck live card that would upgrade based off of PSG's league success. And then, of course, guys, we have more UCL games on tap. And when we talk about UCL cards, a lot of them, or at least a couple of them, have dropped off big time in value. Yesterday, Usman Dembele was almost a million coins. But PSG, they didn't lose, they just drew. But he needed the win for the upgrade and also to keep them in a prime position to move on to the next, uh, the knockout rounds from their group. The group of death is just absolutely crazy. What a game that was yesterday. Newcastle winning almost the whole time. PSG getting a penalty at the end. Mbappe scoring. This is how the group sits right now. PSG is on seven points, Newcastle on five, and Milan on five. So Usman Dembele and Kalulu, both of their cards have dropped big time. Kalulu was like 30k. I'm pretty sure Kalulu is like 16,000 coins right now. This this is kind of crazy because technically, if you think about it, 14k. That's the cheapest Kalulu, and I just searched at 16. Okay, I guess we're gonna make a couple thousand coins there. But like the fact this card's 14k is pretty wild. But also, if you think about it, um, any of these clubs except for Dortmund. Dortmund's already locked it up. They've moved on to the next round with 10 points. Um, Newcastle and Milan and PSG, they're all playing for that number two spot in the final match day. Technically, if you look at the live cards here, if we go and actually look at the trackers for Kalulu, Kalulu could still get upgraded. Same with Usman Dembele. If they win their last game, that would be his second uh, win. That would be Milan's second win. So we would get an upgrade for that. And if they win against Newcastle, that would put them up above Newcastle on eight points. So if Dortmund were to beat PSG in that last match day, then technically Dortmund and Milan would go through and then Kalulu would get a double upgrade, right? But the same could also be said for Usman Dembele. If they win... He gets the second win, which would be a 90 rated upgrade. And also if they win, they would lock themselves in joint top of the uh, table in the group with Dortmund on 10 points apiece. 
and then they would be going through and getting a win as well. So you really have to watch Kalulu and Usman Dembele. It's kind of all or nothing for those guys. And I guess Newcastle, you're fighting for Bruno Guimaraes, and you're fighting for... Well, Gita Reyna's already going to get upgraded because they're on to the next round. But that's just super interesting. It's kind of crazy to see Kalulu drop off as much as he has. I mean, he never was a super-duper expensive card. But the fact that he's dropped off this much is just something to kind of go and show that when these cards are no longer going to receive live upgrades, they absolutely get destroyed in price. So I'm glad I picked up that one for 14. I'll try to sell it for 19. Just take the quick couple thousand coins. What a flip. And there's that. Other cards like Lewandowski. And this is what I want to talk about for today. Lewandowski, it was looking grim. I actually sold my Lewandowski because Porto scored first. And I was like, oh my goodness, if this is how the game is going to go, it's going to be bad, right? If they would have lost, Lewandowski would be like 250K, right? Because it would be not good. Maybe not 250, but he'd be pretty low. So, um... You know, that's what I was trying to avoid. So I sold my Lewandowski at 520, didn't make any coins on it. He's back up to 550. But what I want to talk to you about today is if you invested in Bruno Fernandez or Saka, these guys are expected to win, right? So bar a catastrophe today, let's say if Man United win, uh, then Bruno is probably going to go up and he's just going to slowly rise. They're expected to win. It's kind of like with Lewandowski. He didn't explode in price. Bruno might jump up a little bit because of Man U hype. But with Bruno and with Saka today, I would just say if you've invested in those and you got a low price, especially because they've been re-released in packs, I would just hold because I think these guys couldn't continue to rise today as uh, people are excited for their upgrades as they both, especially Bruno, deserve um, or should be getting a couple upgrades. Bruno plus two. If they win, that would clinch a spot in the knockouts for them. And also a Saka plus one would be, of course, in time if they win today and he would be clinching a knockout spot. For Arsenal as well. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in today's video is kind of bananas, okay? We're going to look forward here a little bit, guys, because there was a massive leak that was posted by a guy that we do see leaks from every so often. We're going to talk about this more in a couple of days from now, but it's the whole entire promo team that's going to be coming out on Friday. Now, we're going to be careful with this because, again, we're taking it with a pinch of salt. But evidently, this full, this radioactive team, we looked at the car design, we saw the Messi concept, right? Messi is leaked in the promo now by this guy, ASY Foot Trader. Um, he says that every player gives two chem points for their nation, league, and club. Stats are a prediction. So it's basically like you put the card into your club and they're automatically on two chem points, but and they also give two chem points. Like, it seems kind of like a promo that makes unlinkable cards linkable. And you see, with a lot of the players that are leaked to be in here, you've got Messi and you've got multiple MLS players. You've got Taliska from the Saudi League. How many MLS players do you have in here? Vela. You've got Puki. You've got Puig, Shakiri. Uh, you've got multiple of those guys in here. You've got other very hard-to-link cards like Araujo. A little bit harder to link with the Nation link there. You've got Zaha, uh, Galatasaray, where he's at now. Kessie in the Saudi League. You got Mazrawi right back from Bayern, Frankowski in Ligue 1. You've got Caicedo in here. You've got Nani, Tim Weah, Gavardiol, Zinchenko, Kavicha. First promo card for Kavicha other than an inform. Screeny R from PSG, Christian Eriksen, my goats. You got a Conte. It's actually kind of funny. We just had a Conte Evo, and now they're giving us a Conte special card. That's kind of funny. Um, a lot of people did Gavardio on one of the most recent Evos as well. He's now getting a promo card. So take this with a pinch of salt because this is a guy that has had leaks correctly in the past, but also at the same time, it's very early. So I would wait for like Foot Sheriff and some of the other guys to start confirming these leaks. But I wanted to show you guys this today because you're probably going to see it circulating on X on Twitter. If you're active there at all in the community, you're going to see people talking about this stuff. And some prices have probably already started to move with some of these. But uh, like a bomb yang in here, it, it looks like an okay promo. It looks okay. I mean, nothing is going to follow Black Friday and seem amazing because Black Friday is going to be like the tippity top, right? Nothing's going to follow this and be like, oh, wow, OMG. But it's probably still going to be decent. There's some big names in there. Oshawala, that's a big one. Soboslai, he just had an Evo that a lot of people were doing as well. So we'll see what the cards look like. We'll see if we get some more news and information. Wednesdays for new promos are loading screen days, especially if it's a brand new promo after Black Friday, EA are going to want to keep people engaged and involved. So what I would tell you to do is watch out for a loading screen today. That seems very, very possible. If I can snag a friend Pong here on a bid, I will do that because that might be a flip I can do overnight tonight into 
or into Wednesday and make some profits. But that's kind of the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up button, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. See you guys in a stream today. Peace.